Hi guys and welcome to another food vlog. So it is 8 a.m. right now and uh, I sent my kids to school already and did my food shopping and now I need to clear up my fridge. So I had a lot of produce in my fridge that had to be eaten soon so I decided to juice it all. So I made different juices today for myself and my family. My kids usually enjoy orange and apple combination and I enjoy everything else, whatever is left in there. I had tons of carrots that had to go, so I juiced those. It was definitely a workout because I don't have any fancy juicer just yet. So I had to really work it to get that juice out. It took a few hours, guys, but it was worth it. The juices came out perfect and oh so delicious. I made carrots with oranges. That was a nice combo. I made a green juice with colored leaves, celery, lemons and green apples. It was super energizing for sure and I felt really full for a while. Wow, look at this color, so far green. Cheers! Mm, it's delicious. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all this mess. So here I am trying to clean it all up. It was a big swampy disaster in my sink today, but it all got cleared up. Mm, so good. Ooh, look at the swamp here. And after cleaning everything up, I changed water in my lonely plant in the kitchen, my green onions. If you don't know this, you can grow green onions inside the house. I usually keep the roots in a jar with water and I get more greens growing. All right, guys, so now it's pomegranate season. I like to buy these pomegranates. These are actually organic. I don't always buy it organic, but I went to Trader Joe yesterday and I got a few of these guys. Now here's how I like to open them. They have kind of like little creases here. So over here, I'm not gonna cut it like this. Now, here's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna open this pomegranate. Ooh, look at this. Beautiful. I'm going to fill it up with water. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open all this, take all the seeds out. And you see when you do this inside the water, it's cleaner this way. All these juices, they're not gonna be drizzling down the walls. And you see what happens when I separate them? Hang on, I'll show you. Now, as you can see here, all these white particles, they come up on the top. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna carefully Drain these, Let's see if I can separate a little more. Ah, I don't want to lose my seeds. I'm gonna drain this and I'm gonna store it in a container in the fridge. Okay. Next time I feel like pomegranate, I can just grab and eat. It's all ready to go. I like to sprinkle sometimes on my salad, it's delicious. I have to peel three more, <laughs> so I'll be back. So now I cannot wait to enjoy my pomegranate seeds while doing some computer work. Sorry about the light guys, it was a bit too dark but I'm working on it. Okay, so now I just need to clean up my computer's hard drive a little bit. Mm. This tastes so good. Mm. This is the only time of the year I usually eat pomegranate. Mm. You don't need any recipe for this. Just go buy some pomegranate. It's so good. Let's see how much space I have. Not that much. Okay. Somehow all the wiring got messed up here. I don't know what happened. But somehow it got unplugged. Anyway, we are back in business. <laughs> Look 
guys what I got these are the silicone mats for my dehydrator trays I'm gonna be making a lot of wraps so very excited All right, let me guys show you how to make this delicious salad. First, I'm gonna start with some leaves. I have spinach here. I'm just gonna use this whole container. Some of them are wilted a little bit, so just pick them out real quick. Now, I also have this micro rainbow mix, so I'm just gonna rinse this quickly, and we're gonna use a little bit of that. I'm gonna use half, and the rest I'm gonna leave for preparation for later. So these are our greens. Now, I'm gonna use a little bit of this red purple cabbage. Just need to chop it really thinly, as thin as I can. <laughs> okay, so we have about a cup of this beautiful cabbage. I'm gonna cut this oranges, so I'm gonna do it this way. I'm just gonna use this kind of like quarters, and I'm gonna do the same thing with this orange. You can use whatever orange you like. This is what I had on hand. Right now it's kind of the like orange season, so all of them are tasting good. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Put on top all these delicious oranges. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the apple. I'm not gonna peel it. I'm just gonna use the whole thing. Slice these apples lengthwise first, and then I'm gonna flip it and chop it into smaller pieces. I'm gonna save a little bit to put on top later, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and transfer all these apples on top of our greens and cabbage and oranges. That's all the chopping we need to do. I'm gonna put a cup of cranberries, about a quarter cup to half a cup of pomegranate seeds, about half a cup of walnuts. I kind of crush them a little bit. I don't want them too big, I don't want them too small. Just crush this like that. And I'm gonna add a quarter cup of pumpkin seeds. That's it. Now all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and make our sauce. We're gonna need a cup of cranberries. Then I'm gonna use a few of these sun-dried dates. These are small dates, these are not major and they already pitted. Next, I need a juice of one lime and I'm gonna need to use this whole orange. I'm gonna add my orange. Now I need my lime. These are very small, so if you have a bigger lime, just use half. See how tiny they are. Okay, I'm gonna use one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And I'm gonna use this almond butter. I have very little left in there, so I'm just gonna scoop it out. Hopefully I get a tablespoon out of this. If not, oh well. <laughs> kind of like a tablespoon. All right, let me add this in. I'm also gonna use a tablespoon of maple syrup. And I need about a quarter cup of water. I'm gonna use a little bit of salt, about one eight teaspoon and i'm gonna use a little bit of pepper as well not too much this is enough okay now i'm gonna go ahead and try to blend this whole thing and see what happens all right let's give it a taste test it's a little bit thick i'm gonna add just a little bit of water okay now we're gonna try and taste this tastes very crumbly Hmm, delicious. I'm gonna add a little bit more maple syrup here. Another tablespoon. Let's try. Hmm, yes. Much better. Okay, so our sauce is ready. Now I'm gonna mix our sauce, this beautiful salad. Now let's mix it all together. Wow, look at these colors, guys. It's amazing. All these beautiful antioxidants and all these vitamins and everything. You eat this fresh and you're gonna feel so good. I know I feel really good if I eat this kind of salads. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and plate this. I'll save the other half for later. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dress it up a little bit. Our apples. I'm gonna put extra pomegranate seeds on top because I love pomegranate seeds and it looks so beautiful. Remember these little mica greens? Uh, let's just kind of sprinkle it on top. So pretty. And it doesn't look just pretty, it tastes good, so you know. Okay, let me give a quick taste test, guys. Mmm. Mmm. 
It's so refreshing. So many flavors here. Mmm, this is so good, guys. You should try and make it and bring it for like Christmas or some holiday or something. Right now, cranberries and oranges and all of this is in season. You should definitely try this salad. It's so good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this with some of my carrot juice. It's so cold today. See how I'm bundled up? <laughs> I'm just waiting for my little one and now we're gonna go home, gotta feed him and do other things. So of course for dinner I had to have my leftover salad and I didn't feel like eating anything else as it was so filling and satisfying, it was so good. That's it guys for this video, thank you so much for hanging in here with me today and I hope you enjoyed and when you try this salad please comment below and let me know how you liked it. And if you are in the mood for a healthy dessert you can check out my next video right here.